Morning guys, David here, good dog training. Morning, we've got Zelda and Bear. We're just taking them through a bit of proofing. I've got them on two e-collars, both paired to one remote, so a button each. And I'm just gonna be uh, pretty much free roaming with them, giving them commands every now and then. Just putting them through the paces and proofing them around, around each other and around the other dogs and a few other distractions around the place. We'll be covering place, sit down, all the commands, bit of recall here and there and just some obedience. Cool, so we're just going to go over some recall. The dogs are just behind the camera chilling, just having a sniff, walking around them under the trees and I'm just going to call them one at a time. Starting with Zelda. Zelda, come! Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. Come. Oi. Free, free. Oi. Good. So the commands that we'll be going through are mostly let's go, which is a change of direction. And we'll be covering some here which is just heal, the command for heal. We'll also be going over the markers, so the yes, good, no, and also oi chucked in there. Oi is kind of like a leave command, you know, stop doing that. We've also layered it so that the dog will come back because it's gonna to respond to the pressure by coming back to the, to the handler. Also a bit of recall, so just their name and come and then finishing off in some place, sitting down. There, down. Good boy. Zelda, come. Good girl. Come. Good girl. Place. Good. Good girl. Oi. Down. Good. So we're just going to use Wendy as a distraction. No. Down. Good. Good. Good girl. So every time they get off, I'm just giving them the, the command again. And we're just teaching them that humans don't mean get off the placemat and wind up. It just means stay on your placemat, stay calm, stay down. No. Place. Good. Down. Good. Good. So a lot of the time affection triggers a dog to get overexcited. And so what we're doing right now is just counter conditioning that affection to not mean, you know, get triggered to be overexcited, but instead just be calm and stay in your place. No. Down. Good. Let's go. Sweet, so now we'll let them off the mat and we'll do a similar a similar thing. I'm just gonna recall them. Zelda, come. Come. Yeah, Zelda, come. Good dog. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Good. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Here. Good boy. Here. Let's go. Good dogs. Let's go. Let's go. Good dogs. So let's go just means turn around, you know, changing direction. It doesn't necessarily mean heel. You can incorporate the heel, so let's go into a here. But it generally just means we're changing direction. It's good for off-leash walking and stuff like that when the dog's kind of just roaming around. And so that's what we're going through now, just a bit of let's go. Let's go. Here. Here. Good. So this is the off lead heel, sit. 
good. So now we'll cover some off-lead healing. It's, it's basically the same as just healing on lead, except we're not relying on lead. We're using the e-collar and verbal commands and verbal corrections as well. The reason we're using corrections is because the dogs already know the command. If they didn't know the command, then we'd be using a lot more direction and praise to, to teach them the command. But the command that we use for heal is here. Here. Sit. Good dogs. Here. Here. Sit. Oi. 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 Sit. Good. Let's go. Zelda, place. Good. Down. Good. Bear, place. Just going to give him a bit of guidance. Place. Good boy. Down. Down. Good boy. Let's let them chill out on their placement for a little bit. So when working two dogs, it's always good to just give them a bit of guidance so that they, you know, understand who you're talking to and where they're going. There's two placemats here, so I just guided each one onto each placemat just with a bit of body guidance and just pointing and stuff like that. And so it just makes it a bit easier for the dog to understand what I want from them. So the placemat's a good one for, for just around the home. Should be a nice calm place for the dog to go. Really helpful for when people come round to the house and the front door opens. You know, that's a trigger for a lot of dogs to just escalate and to run and jump on the people coming through the door. So this is a good alternative to that behavior is having them nice and calm lying on a placemat. It's just good drills for the house and it's really helpful for owners. So these two dogs used to be quite reactive. They probably couldn't have done anything like this at the beginning of their training, but after a nice period of time, spending time around other dogs and in a pack of dogs, they've um, come a long way to the point where they can do things like this and lie down next to each other and just be happy off lead with each other walking around and you know just sharing a bit of space which is always good to see cool so we've just got zelda here now we've put bear away we're just going to focus on a bit of place to place it covers a lot of elements doing a place to place command so it's really good for just ironing out those little wrinkles in the dog's behavior zelda come good girl place good girl good girl zelda come Good girl, place. Good girl, good girl. Just testing her a little bit. We're just creating a bit of distance from the placemat and also standing off to the side a bit, just changing it up so that we know that she's listening to the recall and the place command. She's not just working on autopilot and just anticipating what I'm gonna say. Zelda, come. Good girl, place. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Down. Good girl. Throwing a bit, throwing a few downs and sits and whatever in there as well. Also, just some regular recalls, just to keep her on her toes. Zelda, come, come. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Good girl, Zelda. Let's go. Place. Good girl. Down. Good girl. I can also use the place command to counter condition things. So we touched on it before, but affection. If I just give her some affection, good girl, good girl. And then I go to walk off, see if she breaks command. If she does, I'm gonna correct her, put her back on the placemat. And in, in doing so, I'm reconditioning what affection means. So it doesn't mean break command or wind up and escalate and get overexcited. You know, it just means that your placemat stay calm. Zelda, come. Good girl, place, good girl. Let's go. Here. 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 Good. Here. Here. 
Hier. Hier. Good girl. Hier. Good girl. Ah.